Hi, Tracy. How are you? I'm good. I'm very excited for tonight. Finally, the coronation is pushed through. Yes, I'm, I'm very excited also to ask you this question because, again, you've got a very interesting background as a sales and operations specialist. But more than that one, you proudly hail from Cebu. Now, Cebu has produced so many beauty queens. What is it about Cebu or Cebuanos or the Cebuano, Cebuano character that produces so many beautiful women with character and with passion and purpose? Well, I think that a lot of people would agree that we Cebuanas are beautiful. In fact, all three Cebuanas who joined Miss World Philippines are part of the top 25. And they are right there with me. And we are doing this not just for ourselves. Mm -hmm. We do have a purpose. And knowing that we are here standing not just for ourselves, but also for our families, for our friends, despite all the setbacks, despite all the failures, I have lost a lot of battles in my life, but I always told myself that I should get back up. And even during the pandemic, I would like to bring it up that Cebu is one of the provinces and cities that has been badly hit by this pandemic, but our province and city has stood our ground and we are getting back on track. And that is what we can offer as Cebuanas. We are resilient and we continue to fight. Yeah, thank you so much. On candidate number 36, Tracy Maureen Perez. Asking your question will be. Miss Elise Hosan. Good evening, Miss Tatiana. How are you doing? Hello, Miss Elise. It's Tracy. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. It's <laughs> Tracy. It's okay. Sorry, it's in the street. No My bad. Candidate number 36, Tracy, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm so excited for what's going to happen tonight and for the new queens to be crowned. Here is my question for you. After we go through this pandemic, what would you want us to learn from it? After this pandemic, I hope that we never take for granted the family that we have, taking care of our health and taking care of the people that protect us, our leaders, our frontliners. We should always give importance to those people. We may not see the efforts that they give out, but most definitely, they are our modern heroes. And for that, we should always be grateful and we should always Stick to them, stick with them, and pray for them. Thank you. 